Is it really that easy to get someone's password? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. Here's the question I got some time ago. It appears that someone has figured out the password to my account and has logged in and sent emails from the account as well. I have two questions. First, is there any possible way to track down the person who is doing this? Mind you, they did not change my password. Is it really that easy to obtain someone's password on a site like this? I do not use a public computer and change my password regularly. So there are a couple of possibilities for what you've described. Yes, it is possible that you got hacked, but it is just as possible, perhaps even more possible that you didn't. And as for tracking down the perpetrator, yeah, good luck with that. So here's the deal. Email that looks like it came from you, that you did not send, does not imply your email account has been hacked because it is trivially easy for spammers to make fake emails that look like they come from you or from me or from anyone without having access to the account. It's called from spoofing. And all they do is they craft emails with a fake from line. So the email looks like it came from you, but you had nothing to do with it. More specifically, it's not your fault. You didn't get hacked. No, your password has not been exposed. And bonus, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. It's the nature of how email works. Spammers often try to fake the from line to make it more likely that recipients will recognize the sender and then open the email and take action on whatever. So I honestly believe because this is so prevalent, based on what you've described, there's a really, really good chance that your account has not been hacked at all. It's simply a case of somebody sending email that looks like it came from you. No hack required. Now, to answer your question, is it really that easy to get someone's password? Well, no, it's not really that easy. Certainly not for the major sites. They all tend to do security really well. Yes, you hear about breaches from time to time, but even then the breaches don't expose passwords. They expose hashed passwords, which is a fancy way of saying they can't get the password. The password is not really there. There are really two scenarios that are the most common scenarios where passwords get exposed. One, password reuse. In other words, you use the same password on multiple different sites or accounts. That puts you at the mercy of the site with the worst security. If that site then is doing security wrong, or if they get breached in such a way that your password really does get exposed, then your password for all the other sites where you used that same password is also exposed. Regardless of how good their security was, you're at the mercy of the worst security. So that's an easy one. Don't reuse passwords. Once you've used a password, never ever use it again and never ever use it on more than one site. The second one, phishing. And unfortunately, phishing is getting a little bit more sophisticated. It's, it's happening to more and more people. We really do need to continue to maintain our high level of skepticism. A phishing email simply asks you, hey, this is email that looks like it's from a legitimate service, maybe even a service that you use. It says, hey, there's a problem or there's something you need to go to this link to examine something related to your account. Once you get to that link, there's a very familiar looking sign in page. It asks you to enter your username and password, which if you're not paying attention, you do. You've just handed your username and password over to a hacker. They can now access your account, or at least they have your password. 
The trick is that that was not a legitimate site. That was a site pretending to be the service you use. And there are ways to detect that, most commonly paying very careful attention to the URL, the HTTPS stuff that's in the address bar of your browser, and making sure that it actually is the site you expect it to be. Another more common way of avoiding phishing emails is never click on the links. If somebody says, hey, there's a problem with your account at so-and-so service, great. Ignore the email, go to so-and-so service yourself and check to see if there really is a problem. Chances are there won't be, and that is phishing. Those are the two most common ways I think that passwords get exposed. There are obviously lots of other ways, everything from malware and key loggers to any number of other things. But the bottom line is that I think those two are probably the most prevalent right now. Uh, the article, uh, Internet Safety, Seven Steps to Staying Safe Online, has a bunch more recommendations to keeping yourself safe for exactly these kinds of scenarios. Now, tracking down the offender. Yeah, like I said earlier, good luck with that. The bottom line is that it is really next to impossible for mere mortals like us to be able to track down anything. If it's spam, if it's somebody who's faking their email to look like it's coming from you, they don't have to be doing it from their own machines. They don't have to be doing it from pretty much anywhere. They could be doing it from a botnet. The email could be coming from a machine next door for all we know. There's precious little information included in that email that would help us get back to the original offender to begin with. And even if there were, and in all the other cases, then it's almost impossible to get the information we want Say you've got an IP address or some other nugget of information that would somehow lead you to believe that you could locate the offender. Privacy laws prevent your ISP or the service providers from just handing out that information to anybody. If you're trying to track down somebody who's doing some of these things to you, the only way you even stand a glimmer of a hope is to involve law enforcement. Typically what's required then are subpoenas and court orders to get the information from the ISPs and the service providers. And guess what? You and I are small fry. The law enforcement officers that we're dealing with, the police, even the FBI here in the United States, depending on where you are on the planet, it could be any number of different organizations. Honestly, they're probably too busy to deal with our one-off situation. There is precious little we can do. That's why I say it is extremely, extremely unlikely, nearly impossible to track down who is behind these kinds of things. Sorry, I don't have better news on that front, but hopefully now you understand exactly what's been going on in your case. And like I said, to me, it feels like you've not been hacked at all. You probably are just seeing some spam. And the really good news here is that, yeah, you know, passwords really are pretty hard to get. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com slash 2426. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.